Well, hello, good people. Alexa, turn on studio lights. There we go. I was in the dark there. Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. The shit has hit the fan with the Dallas Cowboys, literally. 105.3 The Fan. Jerry Jones goes on there and literally tells them, you aren't going to be asking me these questions. I'll get somebody else to. And he is definitely losing his shit. And as he's literally telling us that, you know, you can't just go out there and get players. At the same time, Devontae Adams is literally being traded to the Jets for a conditional third-round draft pick. Literally. You see a Jet team that, you know, they realize they don't have the right coach, they fired him. They realize they don't have the players, they go out and make the best moves that they can to try and supplement the team. The Cowboys had opportunities to make their team better in the offseason, and they did nothing. And Jerry Jones is feeling the heat right now from that. And it didn't take long for the cast on Get Up and everywhere else to go ahead and start running with this story. So my question in, in here, there's a way to kind of, appease the masses and maybe do something different and i'll get to that in a second but here's where you have to wonder is all of this about the drama and that's all they want i i my my wife and my daughters they were watching some uh show on tv last night okay it was truly a chick flick thing i don't know what it was called but it was basically they were producing a show that was like a reality show about, uh, you know, people getting married, you know, where they had the football player who was, you know, there to pick his bride. And so they got all these people and stuff. And what they did with the show is they created a lot of fake drama. They poisoned one of the girls, you know, you know to, for her to get sick on TV and things. And, you know, they were, she was supposed to be picking from two women. And he was kind of told, well, if you pick that one because you got an injury and stuff and you can't play football, her family is better situ- situated for you to have money and stuff. They go through and create more drama by basically telling both of the girls that uh, you're going to be married, you're, you're, that he's picking you and you're going to be married married tonight get your family here and then the show so it's just crazy they were creating drama fake drama to get people to watch now here's what i know when the cowboys have drama everybody is watching everybody is watching and going crazy and you know Right now, after the Cowboys getting mollywopped by the Lions and and Jerry Jones, of course, imploding here, it's the drama. And that is moving the needle. Right now, numbers are going through the roof for everybody. ESPN, Fox Sports, on, on Twitter, you know, people are talking about fire Jerry hashtag and everything else. It's created solely by Jerry Jones. This is bigger than Devontae Adams being traded to the Jets. You got Kansas City. Think about this for a second. Kansas City undefeated and possibly going for a three-peat. Oh, Kansas City. You forgot about them, didn't you? Because it's all about the Cowboys. Now, at this point, all hell is breaking loose for the Cowboys. And the only way the Cowboys are going to be able to squash some of this is they have to make a move for move's sake. Devontae Adams going for a conditional third-round pick? Understand, when he got traded from Green Bay, it was a first and a second. He was fire-sailed to go to the Jets. Now, you want to at least calm the masses? Cowboys? You're looking at, right now, a Cleveland Brown team that almost beat the Eagles. You Eagles don't laugh too hard. You almost lost at home to the Cleveland Browns. To the Cleveland Browns. You barely outscored the Cleveland Browns by four points. So, slow your roll. And Commander fans, shut the F up, okay? You you haven't beat a team with more than one win, okay? Slow your roll. Well, you got Carolina, again. And you still won't have a win over a team with more than one win. Be that all as it may, 
the Cowboys need to go get Amari Cooper. And here's what I said. Okay. If you're telling me Devontae Adams is a third-round pick, fourth round, get offer the Cleveland Browns a fourth-round pick. Off, th- that way they're making out twice on us. And bring him in here just so we can have the narrative change. So we can say, okay, now Dak's got another weapon. You know, we can have the whole thing of, you know, the Cowboys and, and Amari Cooper making up. That that the Cowboys, that Jerry Jones actually cares about winning or something. But right now, you look like you're stupid. And you have to do something to turn this tide. Because this is the freaking Titanic and it's sinking. I, I have to listen to to the get you know at this point I, i'm enjoying actually people putting a foot in jerry jones's ass okay because jerry jones has been the one who's been running this shit show forever without any ramifications do you think that any other gm would be able to get away with all of this this stupidness that this screw-ups like jerry jones giving away amari cooper for a fifth round pick turning down players that want to come here, players that right now as we speak in Derrick Henry is an MVP candidate. And he wanted to come here. There's a long list of those guys. Let's listen to Get Up. This is Bottom line, this is good. no scheme is going to correct what's ailing the Dallas Cowboys right now. Alexa, turn off fan light. What happened yesterday might be the last ray of hope for them. When you stick that back, that might be the message that says we got to do something about this. This was a uh, shocker. I thought we would do a lot of things better in that football game. I think we can. We just didn't do them out there today. All right, an already very interesting situation just got interesting. -er. Jerry Jones just did his weekly radio hit, and he got very testy. We are frantically trying to get the sound together for you. We're making panels, and I think we have them. He was very defensive when asked about not making more moves this offseason. This was on 105.3 The Fan in Dallas. This was his response, and again, we'll play it for you as soon as we have it turned around. He said, this is not your job. Your job isn't to let me go over all the reasons that I did something and I'm sorry that I did it. That's not your job. I'll get somebody else to ask these questions. I'm not kidding. You're not going to figure it out what the team is doing right or wrong. If you are, or any five or ten like you, you need to come to this NFL meeting I'm going to today with 32 teams here. You're geniuses. You really think you're going to sit here with a microphone and tell me all the things I've done wrong without going over the rights? Listen, we both know we're talking to a lot of great fans, a lot of great listeners, and I'm very sorry for what happened out there Sunday. I'm sick about what happened Sunday. Those are the quotes that I have. Again, we will get the sound turned around for you as quickly as we can. (laughs) Marcus, this is your area of expertise. What's your reaction to Jerry getting quite defensive today? Well, I mean, look, defense is a mechanism when you know you're getting beat up. That's number one. You got to fight or flight. The other thing is when you make a statement like that on the radio, you've acknowledged that you didn't do enough, right? Like, mama, I made an A in math. No, I'm whooping your ass because of the F in English. Okay? That, now, that is, that, that's the reality. But here's, here's the other thing. This is, this is very – this is actually macro of what goes on with the Dallas Cowboys. The problem is what we just saw right there. The owner feels responsible for the wins and losses. Now, we just had only in New York fire head coach because right. he thought it would translate into more wins, it, even though it's wrong. I'm not comparing it. But that's the problem with Jerry. These conversations impact the locker room. They impact the coaching staff. They impact the people that's actually got to go out there and do the job. And when people say that, it's always, well, the players got to make plays. We talk about culture all the time in sports. We talk about what happens predating the game that you're going to play on Sunday. What about the conversation? What's the bulletin board material? If people in the world don't think all of that stuff that Jerry says matter and sitting there like I'm the reason for the good things and Mm. also the bad thing, bro, it's a lot of people in that building that want to do a high-level job that can't because they worried about these feelings from Jerry Jones. Not the radio people, the people in the building. The results on Sunday is something that coaches say all the time. It's like you win the game during the week, and I think it sounds cliche, but it's really true. The things that you practice, and it's not just during the week, 
It's in the off season. Like the decisions that you make and the culture that the tone that you set is something that shows itself on the weekends. Absolutely. And you've seen it time and time again with this team. It's not a coincidence that some of the teams that are always in good shape are so, also the teams that we recognize are run consistently well by grownups. And it feels like the teams that are consistently in bad shape get a different. So what, which, what I'm hearing you say is this is Nick Sirianni energy because that's what nobody. <laughs> is, that, is that where we are? It is 100%. a little bit. Not a little bit. Yeah. Not a little bit. This is coming after a fan. They just have like to have a, Michael. Like just say much him. older, yeah, just, yeah. much wealthier yeah. Nick Sirianni. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it, right? Yeah. Man, I'm gonna I'm fight whoever I gotta fight because everything right now is falling me, and I feel like I'm out of control. So I am going to come and, and battle anybody I can battle, scare anybody I can scare, yell at anybody I can yell at. Because at the end of the day, this is that same energy, bro. Man, it's it's nothing. The problem is, is you can't get fired. Nick, that's right. The difference is Nick Sirianni didn't get his butt kicked on Sunday. He won the game. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know what he's yelling about. So Terry, I, I can understand why he's upset. I, I have the sound now. I'm being told our team is the best in the business, and we got this turned around that fast. So again. This was just moments ago, Jerry Jones on 105.3 in <sighs> Dallas, when asked about not making more moves in the offseason. Let's, let's hear it. This is not your job. Your job isn't to let me go over all the reasons that I did something, and I'm sorry that I did it. That's not your job. Well, my it's, job is to so ask why. Well, job, or I'll get another. I'll get somebody else to ask these questions, man. Uh, <laughs> Jerry, we're just we're we're we're, we're trying to figure out why the no, team no, is. I'm not. I'm not kidding. You. I'm not kidding you. You're not going to figure out it's uh, what the team is doing right or wrong. If you are, uh, or any five or ten like you, you need to come to this meeting I'm going to today. There are 32 teams here. You're geniuses. <laughs> Jerry, okay. it, it, y'all really think you're going to sit here with a microphone and tell me uh, uh, all of the things that uh, I've done wrong and without going over the rights? Boy, that sounded way worse than it was when I read it, right? I mean, it, why was I the only one? Really? No. I, it sounded exactly like the, the dude challenged a man's job because he's questioning. I get somebody what, else. That is Nick Syria. You want to know this is the same energy. When everything is out of control, you're seeing what's internally in them. And that is to come out and swing and fight and threaten and do all of those things because he's pissed he didn't do what he was supposed to do and someone's calling him out at it. Right. And he's he is out of control. The on difference it. is that Nick Sirianni is a person that we're saying has no power of any kind, and Jerry Jones has ultimate power. Not anymore. He's the most That's powerful right. person. Not anymore. That's right. So, like, he has, the, that? he has the power, but he, he doesn't have the power to fix what's wrong with them at this point. Right. Like, the decisions that would have fixed this were, mm. are long past. So yeah. this is what you do when you're, when yeah, you're, you're losing. You're getting beat up. Right. And, like, your, your jujitsu move didn't work. All the self-defense stuff that you practiced didn't work. Yep. You're like, I don't know. I'm a bite. Yep. I, I'm a scratch. I'm going to pull yep. some hair. That's essentially what he's doing. He's like, I don't know what else to do. I'll, I'll lash out. I think what's alarming, though, if you're a Cowboys fan, is how out of character it is, right? Like, you don't, you, you might hear behind the scenes people in that building grumble about the way they're perceived and what people say about it. You never hear Jerry talk like that on the radio, right? Unless, unless I'm missing something. I've never heard him yeah, talk like that. So, so, like, that's the, like, that seems to me like, obviously, the, the game Sunday was was ludicrously bad. Like, even in your worst nightmare, you could not have imagined a game that bad. So, I'm sure he's still shaking that off. But I think it's also maybe a realization. We're heading into a week seven bye, and things are getting worse, not better. I, I think you're hearing something in Jerry's voice that we're not used to hearing. We're we hearing for the first time him take accountability today. Yep. He is a, part, a big reason why this That's team exactly is where right. they are right now. That's what That's taking exactly. accountability and, and, and sound like? No. Foxy, I'm telling you. Taking, account account of, don't taking accountability, him. but not wanting to yeah. not use your power. Yeah. Like, I, I'll tell you this, too. It was very it was very disrespectful to tell them dudes on radio that. I'll yeah. get somebody else to ask me the question. Especially because it is their job. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> but, but, but it's also, I, I'm telling you, it's horrible, but it's an acknowledgement. And I'm not sure if we've ever heard Jerry acknowledge, yeah, I, I messed this up. I've done some right. Yeah, we, we know about the Super Bowls 25 years ago, and I'm – all of that. You mess this up and everybody knows it and it's something you cannot hide from and they can't hide from it in the building. So that is why you heard him of an admission that we not what we, we should be right. but also I'm the owner and I'm going to tell you what you can't tell me. <laughs> but that's, that's what um, We have heard Jerry Jones um, admit that he screwed the pooch. Here's, here, here, here's a good one right here. Come to my mind we had a great run of it. 
Uh, he's a great coach, and I'm uh, proud to have him as a friend and proud to have had the times that we had. We, we, uh, we just had a great experience. Can you answer Switzer's question now? What? Do you think you can answer Barry's question now? I've never, I've never been able to know why. Uh, I fucked it up. That, not just that, but anything else. <laughs> no, I can't answer those questions. Yeah, and and he said many times before, you know, you know, the the GM is screwed up and everything else. But when you're the owner and GM, you can't fire yourself. You know, I have to do better. I will do better. And here we are with the same stupid shit. It ain't nothing changed. It ain't nothing changed. We have literally been doing the same thing for thirty years, expecting a different result. I don't know if Jerry Jones is the one that's stupid, or if we're the ones stupid for believing that it'll change. But for the sake of the Cowboys, for the sake of Jerry Jones, if he doesn't like being on the hot seat, what he's got to do is he's going to have to make a move, a panic move, and he's going to need to do something like bringing in somebody else at this point because this ship is going downhill fast. And Amari Cooper, if you can get him for a fourth-round pick, I mean, Devontae Adams was a third conditional. You got to do that. It's going to be a crazy day. Strap in. Strap up and hold on tight because the shit has now hit the fan. And I'm glad I'm here. I'm glad I'm here resting up my, my arm. Doctor said, take a couple of days. Don't do anything. I just got to remember not to put it on the armrest there. I need to keep it in my lap. Put it, I'll get a bag of ice and a heating pad, and I'm going to sit back here. And I need to get some popcorn ready because I can guarantee you the shoe has not uh, has not dropped yet. The other shoe has not dropped. All right, good people. Peace out.